So today we are going to study about parameter passing in functions. So we already studied functions and there are different ways to pass a parameter to a function. Parameter means arguments. So we already discussed about actual arguments and formal arguments. So what we are going to study today is passing those how to what are the various ways to pass arguments to a function. So here, first of all, I want to start with a program. Try to write a C program to swap two variables using functions. You know how to swap two variables. If we, if we are given A and B, you know how to swap it. So here we are, we are going to write a function called swap and with the help of that function, we are going to swap those two variables. So we'll like to start start with a function. Okay. Fida Sahuda. Yes, sir. So here I am going to swap two numbers. How many arguments will be there? Uh, two. Two arguments. Okay. Let the function name be swap. So within bracket, what will I write? And first of all, I want to like the, write the function declaration. So what will be inside this braces? Int. How many inputs are there? Arguments. How many? How many inputs are there? How, how many arguments are there? Two. Two. So, how many int I have to write? So, I have one. One. So, since I have two arguments, I have to write two integers. Okay. So here the function didn't return anything. Void. So I am writing void swap. Others, Kumar? Yes, sir. So what is the next line? Then I had to write the function declaration. And that I had to write the function header first. What will be the function header? Yes, sir. Okay, Alex. Yes, sir. So, what will be the function header? Oid swap. Oid swap. Then? Index. Int. Int. Index, int. Comma, int. Index int. comma, int. Index, comma, int. Okay. So a lot of people are joining late. What I'm, go what I'm going to try here is I'm going to write a program to swap two variables with the help of a function. Swapping two variables with the help of a function. Deepak. Deepak. Filsa Karim. Vilsa Karim, Gogul Krishnan. Yes, sir. So, what will be the next statement? So, function head. So, sorry, function body. Function body. So, what, what, what are the steps in function body? So, what are the steps Declare. to swap? Okay. So, what, what is the first line? Declaring? A temporary variable. Temporary variable. So, entity. Okay. Then? You have to store the first x in temporary variable. You just say the step, that's enough. 
what is it? Is t equal to x x okay uh, mary alina yes, what is the next step No problem, I angry at. Yes, sir. What is the next step? X equal to Y. X equal to? Y. One. Y. Y, okay, okay. Good. Munna Mishan PK. Yes, sir. What is the next statement? Mm. It's a very simple program we already discussed also. Renvirus. Ren yes, sir. What is the next statement? Okay, Rishi Sagar. Uh, Ren tell me, Renvir. Rishi Sagar. Yes, sir. What is the next um, statement? Y is equal to T. Y equal to T. So this is what I have written the swap two numbers. Okay. Let me write the main function. Here also I'm right writing two variables index comma y print f. under value of x and y scan of percentage d percentage d comma ampersand x comma ampersand y swap okay for that i am printing And F. before swapping x equal to percentage d y equal to percentage d so you are adding a new line also comma x comma Then I am calling the function. Uh, Saksham Sedu. Yes, sir. How to call the function? Swap. Swap. X comma y. X comma y. So after swiping, also I am printing that line. So after swiping, so this is the program what I have written to swap two variables. So let me run the program. I am giving 10 and 5. Silas Paul Augustine. Yes, sir. What is the expected output? Uh, uh, 5 10. Okay, 5 10. So here I got before swapping x equal to 10, o equal to 5. After swapping x equal to 10, o equal to 5. So is the program correct? No, there is a mistake. Right? Okay, this program is wrong program to swap two numbers using functions is wrong can anyone find the find the error error means logical error okay anyway this program is wrong i intentionally write this wrong program 
I will explain the program at that time it will be clear. Here I have two functions swap and main. Main contain two variables x and y. Two variables x and y. Here void swap also contain two variables x and y. Already I have mentioned that this x and this x are not same. This y and this y are not same. It is some location memory. This x is some other location memory. Similarly this y has some location memory but this y has some other location in memory. This y associated with main, this x associated with also may also associated with main this x and y associated with the function swap so here what i have done i have give, give value 10 to x 5 to y then the function is called so before swapping it is printed so 10 and 5 is printed Bef then swapping is called swap is called so here actually that is 10 comma 5 so this x will get the value 10 and this y will get the value 5. x got the value 10, y got the value 5. Then I have int t. So one more variable declared. So some space is allocated with t. So t is also associated with swap. t equal to x. So t will be 10. x equal to y. y is 5 then y equal to t so y will be replaced by this 10 this 10 will come here so the function ended so the control will come back the control will come back and here I have written a statement printf after swapping x equal to percentage d y equal to percentage d y comma x so here I am printing this x and y value in main. So what happens? This 10 will be printed. This 5 will be printed. Because in main this x and y values are still 10 and 5. So you may think you can print the value of x and y here. You may print the value of x and y here. But it is also wrong because we are trying to swap this x and this y not this x and this y. I am going to swap x and y in main. So you can't write it like that also. So you can't print x and y here. So is the program correct? Anyway, this program is wrong. Here what happened? C is actually the actual argument. This x and y is the actual argument. This x and y is the formal argument. Actual argument is copied to formal argument. Actual argument is copied to formal argument. That is called call by value. That we will study later. Anyway, we will correct this program. So anyway, I am going to make some modifications to the program. Listen carefully. So here I am giving a star. Here I am giving a star. Sesikant Singh, Sesikant. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of in the star x? The last class only we have studied. What is the meaning of in the star x? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell. We didn't know, please say, I didn't know. That's enough. Shidindraj. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of in the star X?
Integer x. That is index in this direct last class only we have studied. Okay, Sham Sandosh. Yes, sir. What's the meaning of in this direct? Pointer variable points to the value of x. Okay, x is a pointer variable. What do you mean by pointer variable, Sham Sandosh? It can okay. Address like point. Okay, not address. It can store address. It can store address. So I have another variable y. It is also a pointer. So it can also hold some address. So here x and y can hold. Hold address. Okay. So we'll come back to main. Main also I have some x and y. Here it is a normal x and y are normal variables. And every variable are associated with some address. Let it address of x be thousand and address of OEB 1500. We already just assume I'm storing 10 in X and OE in and I am storing 5 in Y. I'm storing 5 in Y. So here now the okay one more change is there. Here also I have to give star. Here actually the swap in swap we are passing integer value. But now what I have to pass, I have to pass the address value because here the formal parameters or in the function header it is telling that first argument is an address, second argument is an address. So we have to pass some address values. Whether we are Yes, sir. How to get address of X? Mm. Mm. Address of X. Which operator is used to get address of X? Mm. Pointer. No. What is the symbol? One symbol is there. I'm asking about the symbol. Mm. Stars, okay, ambassador. Very good. So ambassador takes the address of that variable. So now the address of x and the address of y is passed. Address of x and address of y is passed. So again, I am saying the meaning of in the star x is x is a variable. Since there is a star, it is a point. It is a pointer variable. Since the data type is int, it contain address of another integer variable. Address of another integer variable. So here swap ampersand x comma ampersand y means it is thousand comma thousand five hundred. Thousand comma thousand five hundred. So here x will get a value thousand. And I will get a value 1500. Okay. So far, anybody have any doubt? If you have any doubt, you can ask. Okay. So I'm making some more modifications. So here I have a temporary variable. So a temporary variable t is there. Then t equal to star x. What is the meaning of star x? Varsha Shibu. 
Yes, sir. What is the meaning of star x? Address of x. No, no, no. Ampersand x is address of x. What is the meaning of star x? Star for, for variable. Address, address of a variable. Okay, it is not address of a variable. Okay, no problem. So star denotes here. Here it is star x. This x represent this one. This this x. Here star x means value at x. In the previous class I already discussed. Star means value at x. So what is x? X contains thousand. The value at thousand. Value at thousand. The meaning is star x means x contain thousand. So star x means star thousand. Star thousand means value at thousand. So at thousand I have ten. That ten I am storing it in t. Ten I am storing it in t. So here ten will come. Then star y. Star y means y means thousand five hundred. Star y means value at thousand five hundred. Value at thousand five hundred is five. Where I will store that five? In star x. What is x? X is thousand. Thousand points to actually this thousand points to this memory location. This thousand five hundred points to this memory location. So in this memory location, what I am going to star? What I am going to store? Star y. Star y means value at thousand five hundred. So this five will be stored here. So you have to understand this one clearly. Star y represent this location because y contain thousand five hundred. Value at thousand five hundred is five. That is stored in x. Star x means x means thousand. Value of thousand means this actually it representing this address location. Here I am, I can't say it is value at thousand, but the location thousand. So that five will be stored in location thousand. Similarly, here one more step. There's a correction also. It is not star t. It is t. What is the value of t? Ten. Then I am going to store it star y. What is y? Y contain thousand five hundred. That refers to the location. This location that refers to the location y in main memory. There I am going to store value at t. Value at t is ten. So that ten is stored here. Now what happened? The variables x and y in main function is swapped. Variables at main function x and y is swapped. So let me execute the program. Ten and five. So before swapping x equal to ten, y equal to five. After swapping x equal to five, y equal to ten. Any doubt? Any doubt in this program? Please respond. If it is clear, please type a clear message. Those who understand this concept, respond with a clear message. So you must be very clear about what is indistarx, what is starx, what is ampersand x. These things you must have a clear picture about that. Okay. So let me come back to the presentation. So we tried swapping two variables using functions. While I do in the first way, it is wrong. Then I modified it and I corrected it. Okay. Parameter passing in functions. The first method is call by value. When arguments are passed by value a copy of arguments value is made and passed to passed it to the called function changes to the copy do not affect an original variable value in the caller so in the, with the help of example we already discussed that 
the meaning is here this a and b are actual arguments this x and y are formal arguments so the value of a is copied to x and the value of b is copied to y and we are making some manipulations in x and y so here there is no change in the value x and y if the value of x and y changes it will not reflect in a and b if i change the value of x and y here it did not reflect in a and b so you just think about the first example i have written there when i try to swap two variables like this it it didn't make any changes in the variables or in the formal arguments sorry in the actual arguments in the actual argument it didn't make any difference so changes to the copy do not affect an original variable value in the caller the next one that is call by reference in call by reference the address of the actual parameter is sent so here the same function what we have written here address is sent because ampersand a and ampersand b refers address and is assigned to the formal argument so that address is assigned to formal argument now changes that take place in value of formal arguments now based on the address we are making some changes star a star a star b star b value of formal now changes that take place in the value of formal arguments are reflected in the actual parameters this example we already discussed this is implemented using pointers call by reference is also known as call by address so parameters can be passed to function in two categories or by two methods one is call by value and call by reference so somebody has some doubt why i didn't use star t here because t is just a variable in the function swap itself it can hold value star a means it refers the variable a in the main function so here i am calling the function with by address earlier i am calling the function by giving the values